Okay, so for this lesson, I'm assuming that you downloaded your music from YouTube and your uh, sound effects from YouTube, or you downloaded your music from the Adobe link here, or it was in the description from the previous video. Now, I'm going to show you how to restart the animated logo project. So basically what you do is you go to your folder that has the animated logo project saved, double click on it, and then it'll open up just like this. So I've completed animating my logo already. Okay. Now I'm going to want to now I'm going to add some background music and some sound effects to it. You can apply this to any project that you do in Premiere Pro. I just chose to specifically apply this learning how to use deal with audio in Premiere Pro to animated logos project. Now, what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to go uh, import my music. I'm going to click file, click import, and I'm going to click uh, audio and I'm going to import just what I need. My hanging out song, which is right there. Okay, I'm going to import that. And then I'm going to click File. Of course, you could, I could have imported both two at the same time, but I'm just showing you one at a time. So I don't want the hanging out music anymore. And audio, I actually want my sound effects. Here's the swishing sound that I want. So I'll click and import that. And if I wanted to import more audio, obviously I can double click on that or I can click on File, New, Import, and then I can click on, oh, I don't know, I'll pick a random technology sound like that one right there. I'll import it in. And then I'm going to go to where I want to put the uh, sounds where the animations are happening. So this is going to take a little bit of time, uh, but that's what I'm going to do first here. I'm going to, I, I taught you how to restart your logo project and then I showed you how to import the audio now I'm going to show you how to add background music so adding the background music is pretty easy I take my background music which is right there I double click and then I'm going to only want 10 seconds of it Lost. there that's 20 that's, that's exactly I'm using the left arrow key right now to get the exactly 10 seconds and I mark my out point and then I'm going to drag that audio and put it right here where there's an audio track. See down here, this audio track. Up here are all video track. You can't put not, you cannot put the audio in your video track. You have to put audio in your audio track. So here's my background music to my logo. So it's pretty rough, but it's okay. It's pretty rough. Now that I've shown you how to add background music, <laughs> that was pretty much it. <laughs> you import it, you take what you need, and then you drag it in there. Let's say if I wanted a different part of the music, I wanted like, oh, I don't know, right here. Click my import. Uh, let's, do, let's do exactly 139. So I'll put my click my import right there, and it's 10 seconds long. So 149. That's exactly 10 seconds. I click my out point, I'll drag it, and I'll replace this one. So it's going to be a different uh, background music. All right. So I, didn't, I don't like this one as much, so I'm going to do Command Z. I actually like the original better. And then I am going to teach you the next part, which is to teach you how to make your audio louder and softer. And to be able to make your audio louder and softer, what you're going to do here is you're going to click on this uh, Premiere Pro project. And then I'm going to use my, my selection tool. I'm going to click here. See how this symbol changes? Okay, from cursor to this 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 thing here that goes up and down you can drag it up or you can click make sure it changes click and drag it down like that and then to make the audio softer you click see where this line is right here this middle line you drag the audio down like that it'll be softer listen all right if i want it louder i click and drag the audio up see how the numbers change from negative to positive way too loud. So I'm going to bring it back down to around 0 dB. Right there. It's not perfect, but this will be normal sound. I, st 
still feel like it's just a little bit too loud for me. So I'm going to drag it down to about like negative five or something like that. Let's play it again. All right. So let's say I like that. That's exactly how you would make your audio louder and softer based on clicking here, dragging this up and down so you can see this line right here. And you can click this line and drag it around up and up makes the sound louder and then down obviously like turning down the volume correct okay so I'm going to command Z and go back to where I was which is like right there I actually like that sound then that was enough loud that was the best loudness for me personally so I'm gonna move on and move on and show you the next thing which is how to fade in and how to fade out to be able to fade in and out, there's a shortcut, but I'm gonna show you the long way. I'll teach you the shortcut another day. So you're gonna use your pen tool. Remember your pen tool, you click and hold, you get your rectangle and your lips tool here. Click your pen tool. I'm gonna to go to exactly one second, which is like right there. And I'm gonna click on where one second is, okay? And I'm gonna click on somewhere over here and I can click and drag this down right there, okay? If you click, Anywhere on this line with the pen tool, you're gonna to create another key point, which can um, mess up you uh, mess you up if you're moving this up and down like this, and then it messes with your audio. But I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna undo it, undo again, and then watch and listen to the sound fading up. Okay, you can hear the sound fading up, and I'm gonna fade in for two seconds. I click here, drag this right here. Make sure I'm still around like negative five, negative six dB like that. All right, let's see. For two seconds, it should fade up. I like that. Okay, let's assume I like that. All right, I'm just showing you the basics. I'm gonna go fine tune this later. I go to eight seconds and then I will tune this back down. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click somewhere over here. Click on that key point or that keyframe and then drag down. So audio, you can add keyframe as well. So this is how you, this is how you fade out. There. So we've done how to fade in and fade out audio. Now, now, how do you add sound effects? Well, you just go get your sound effect in Premiere Pro, which is my swoosh sound. All right, let's say I want to use this part right here, this swoosh part right here. I'm going to drag this. All right, there's my in point. There's my out point. Okay, I'm going to click this here and I'm gonna drag this up. You can actually click here and drag up. All the videos are gonna go up so I can see all my audio down here because I'm working with audio right now, okay? Thanks a lot, Premiere Pro, for just failing on me again. Alrighty, thank goodness. Even though Premiere Pro crashed, I was able to still have this and this intact, my fade in and my fade out. Again, let's move on. We're going to add sound effects. I'm gonna double click on swoosh. I'm gonna mark my in point and my out point for swoosh. And then I'm going to click and drag and put it like wherever I see the logo start coming in, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually click in between here and I'm gonna make the music a little softer so I can hear my sound effects. You hear that sound effect? All right, now if I wanna make the sound effect louder, I'm gonna click and drag, and then I'm gonna click this here and make my sound effects louder by raising the audio. Okay, let's say I want that to sound until I get here. Everything snapped into place. I want to make this longer. Take this, use my rate, oh, not that one, rate stretch tool right there. Make it 
a little bit longer lasting. All right, let's say I want to, oh, thanks a lot, Premiere Pro for crashing. Appreciate it, thank you. Okay, thank goodness, Premiere Pro saved my my last previous edit. So luckily I'm, I'm gonna save it again right here. All right, and then I have this part right here that's growing. I'm gonna add a different sound effects to that. Exactly right there. I'm gonna go double click on my swoosh sound. Actually, I'm gonna get the technology sound right there. I'm gonna listen to it really quick, sample it. All right, I, I really don't wanna use that. Let me just use this swoosh sound again. Okay, that's a little bit louder. Let's listen to this swoosh sound. All right. So let's say I want to use this one. Mark my in point. Mark my out point. Click it here or drag here. Put it right there. I want this to finish when the... Um, oh, thanks a lot, Premiere Pro. I really appreciate you crashing on me while I record my lessons. Okay, and we're back. So at exactly six seconds, this is when the music should, when the, the, the sound effects should end. So I'm gonna use my rate stretch tool. It might sound a little weirder because it's faster, but it is what it is. I'm just showing you how to do this. Alrighty, so it did sound weird, but you get the point. And I can make this louder and soft by going to selection tool, Drag this line down here, make it softer, or I can make it louder, and I can go in, double click on this technology tool, go right there, click my in point, there, click my out point, okay? But I really don't want to use this technology, so I'm just giving you a quick review. What I really want to do is start here. All right, I'm gonna take this, at exactly six seconds, and I'm going to drag this over here instead, and by eight seconds, I should end and have my technology sound be done. Not technology sound, I meant, you know what I meant. At exactly eight seconds, right there, I'm using my rate stretch tool again, and I'm going to click here, drag here, and make this longer. And end right there at eight seconds. All right, so I'm going to save this just in case if it crash. So my whole logo will have two sound effects in it. And I can keep adding sound effects down here as well, down in this layer, uh, just, to, just to show you. I'll just click here, drag there, and put my sound effects like right here, okay? So you're here, actually, you know what, let's make it more apparent. I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna drag it, put it right there, and I'm gonna click here, drag down, lift this up and make it louder so you can hear it. Okay, so you're going to hear one, two, three sound effects. All right, so the point is you can do this with however many sound effects you want as long as you can find your sound effects. And um, what I would like to see is that you create a logo that does not start until two seconds into the video, like this. See how mine starts exactly at two seconds? Okay. Once I play beyond this point, it's in my animated logo. Oh, thanks a lot, Premiere. Oh my goodness, you are so helpful by crashing all the time. Okay. Again, I would like for you guys to start exactly two seconds. Okay, I'm gonna save this. It'll play, my logo animation is gonna play for six seconds. Okay, and then at eight seconds is exactly when my animation finishes. And then I have two seconds of video left. Okay, so if I wanna make this audio just a little bit louder, I can.
There. And that's how you do all this right here. How to import your audio, how to add background music, how to add, how to make your audio louder and softer, how to fade in and fade out, how to add sound effects. And now it's how to export and submit your animated logo after you're done editing. So once I'm done editing, save this. File, export, media, H.264 is your format. Preset is going to be YouTube 1080p. And then you're going to click here. Make sure you use uh, the name animated animated logo with SFX. Okay. So now you'll have two different projects, animated logo and animated logo with SFX mp4 file save export should take a little bit of time to export and I shall see it right there all right it's exported see right there animated logo with SFX some of you guys might have this all right animated logo with SFX or this look right here animated logo with SFX I like this look right here because I click on it and you see the name okay and then you're gonna take this to Google Drive you're going to drag it Put it in your O1 contemporary video folder and put it into Premiere Pro Basics. Drag, put it in here. Drag that, put it in this folder right here. And boom, you have animated logo with SFX. Right click, get that shareable link to the MP4 file, not the project file. Do not submit the project file, P R O J. Do not submit the Premiere Pro project file, please. For, for goodness sake, save me some time, okay? By clicking and making sure that you have the MP4 file. Thank you, good luck, and this is gonna take you two days to do. Peace.